organization that helps women look the part when going for that job interview. All right, let's get over to Alex. Alex. And speaking of that, there are thousands of people in the metro area in search of a job. And today may be the day that you find work at a job fair in Bloomington. Joining us this morning with more on the fair is its host, Congressman Eric Paulson. Nice to have you here. Great to be here. Now, this is a first. Is it not for a it, congressman to, to get involved in a job fair? As near as we can tell in Minnesota it is, but I just thought it was really important to connect people, workers, and people in the community that might be looking for work. And in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to be organizing a job fair, but the fact is people are hurting right now. Yeah, and you said that initially this was going to be in the cafeteria, but it has uh, since expanded, so that obviously means you know more people are planning to be there at this job fair. So give us just the idea of what is the setup uh, at the job fair. Well, today. it's going to be at Normandale College this afternoon from 1.30 to 5. It's free and open to the public. And we'll have companies from retail, healthcare, technology sectors, over 50 employers, and many of them are hiring people. And so uh, it's going to be in, in, at the uh, Normandale College, right in the gymnasium. So the expansion did occur uh, based on the response we had, not only from people who want to come and participate uh, on both ends, I guess, employers and people looking for work. Okay, so if you can just expand on that a little bit for people that are home going, okay, who's going to be there? A lot of technology companies will be represented. Retailers, you said like Target and Target, Best Buy. Uh, there'll be some healthcare companies, Allianz, insurance companies. So it's going to be a variety of background and, and uh, different. Uh, obviously, uh, we'll also have some folks from different community colleges and schools and business mm -hmm. schools that can provide tips on resume building, cover letters, how to uh, some job seeking tips. I think too as well. So, it, it, kind of like a workshop, but also you, you know uh, people that will be there representing colleges and, and places that you can go to, and they can help you build your resume or whatever it is that the skills you need to get back. At and this would be a good focal point to bring everyone together for that. That's exactly right. Okay. Um, now, is it uh, is there any cost to going to this job fair? <clears throat> no, me. it's absolutely free. Absolutely free, and uh, my, the information is on my website. But again, Normandale College in Bloomington this afternoon. So you're expecting a good turnout, and and you know Minnesota. We were talking in the break that we're actually doing a little bit better than the rest of the country as far as unemployment numbers. But we know a lot of people are underemployed. That some people have just right. kind of given up or not going back into work. Right. I mean, the reality is is that the unemployment level is a little over 7% here in Minnesota, 9.7% nationwide. But there is that underemployment figure you mentioned where people, they give up after looking for such a long period of time. And so that number is actually closer to 16%, I believe, nationally. And that, uh, uh, you know, it can be very discouraging for people. And so I just wanted to connect businesses again and connect the community as much as possible to, uh, to help people. All right. Well, thank you so much, Congressman Eric Paulson, and good luck with today's thank job you. fair. I want to say I hope that there is a good turnout because people should know there are, there are places of information, places to help you get back into the job market, and here's the information. Again, it takes place at Normandale Community College in Bloomington from 1.30 to 5 o'clock. That's at 9700 Friends Avenue South, and you can get more information and see what businesses will be attending at paulson.house.gov. Once again, thanks to our Congressman Eric Paulson. And it is free. Again, if you didn't hear that, it is free. Keith Mahler is looking at our forecast, and we pretty much, you said you called it persistent snow throughout the day. We're going to have it in the morning rush hour, throughout the evening tonight. Exactly, but it's, it's a slow and steady snow, so as long as...